Delis Pro presence. Stay away to Formula One. Robert Schwartzman, driver of SMP Racing Team. Born September 16, 1999. Racing driver since five years old. Nationality Russian. The only foreign driver who had won the Italian Karting Championship, being 11 years old. I think that the karting school is necessary if you want to get the results in the formula. My speed was... Практически лучше. Я ехала очень быстро, у меня наконец-таки появилась скорость. Потом у меня сломалось болт крепления рулевой тяги, и поэтому мне пришлось срезать и сойти с этой гонки. А во второй гонке у меня была задача просто доехать на подиум и ехать достаточно быстро. Были классные обгоны, то есть вообще, в принципе, гонка была хорошая. И по скорости я проехал самый быстрый, то есть у меня было самое лучшее время. Я уверен, что я бы мог приехать в топ-3 обе гонки. Yeah. Fans are going crazy. Good Golden helmet. Golden helmet. Yes, I was born. 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 I И у меня была мечта, и сейчас есть, попасть в Формулу-1. Роберт Шварцман, статистикс и катинг. Рейс стартс, 80, пол позиций, 31, подиум, 45, виктории, 22. Меня папа так приучил, я с 4 лет начинал. Вот еще чемпионы Формулы-1. Schwarzman wins the EasyCard Grand Final twice. Later, he becomes the only foreign driver to be the Italian karting champion. In the senior karting category, KF Junior, Schwarzman takes some brilliant victories. He also becomes third at the World Championship. He's always ahead of time. His competitors are usually older. After coming to Formula 4, Robert finishes the season as a runner-up in the Italian Championship and fourth in the German Championship. He fights side-by-side side with Mick Schumacher, son of the great Michael, and other rising stars of the racing world. In his debut year in Formulas, Schwarzman collects 17 podiums and three victories. Unofficially, he becomes the best rookie in both championships. Every pilot wants to come to the pedestal. Все хотят приехать на пьедестал. Нет такого пилота, который хотел бы приехать в последнем или в серединке. Все хотят быть первым. Вообще в автоспорте все, все люди эгоисты и, в принципе, не очень доброжелатели к другим. Картинга сюда пришли, как, ну, с кем я был знаком еще в картинге, вот. Но не могу сказать, что они друзья, просто знакомые, то есть ничего личного. С языками у меня никогда не было проблем на итальянском, на русском, на английском. Если я даже что-то не понимаю, могу переспросить, они мне четко все объяснят и все будет понятно. Трасса интересная, прикольная, это впечатления очень яркие. Первый раз вообще ездил по городу, на, вообще на машине. Не на обычной, а вот именно на своей специальной формульной машине. И, в принципе, очень красиво, круто. Из своих однокомандников я был впереди. То есть я был самый сильный, может сказать, в финале, в гонке. 
uh, Robert, if I didn't, uh, was not convinced about him, I did not take him in the team. So he's fast. Robert did what we told him. He concentrated on his uh, driving behavior. Robert is catching up because he's grown a lot in the last, let's say, three, four months. And I think with a little bit more time to go, Robert will reach another level of trench, what will help him also in the races. Robert could have easily won or at least finished podium positions if he would start it further in the front. From the middle of the season, Schwarzman challenges the championship leader, Lando Norris. The Englishman has experience, many tests and races in different formula categories, but Robert persistently defends his position. Robert Schwarzman from the outside of the front row dives up the inside of Lando Norris. Lando, just being careful going around the outside, will they touch? No, Lando back in second place. So, 17 yesterday, Robert Schwarzman, young Russian racer, takes the lead of the race. Я видел, что сзади меня очень сильный соперник и мой однокомандник, но я не видел, чтобы он меня сильно догонял, поэтому я как бы всю гонку ехал спокойно до последних кругов. Lando Norris getting closer and closer to Robert Schwarzman, but Schwarzman just making no mistakes at all. A fantastic drive from the young Russian, and again using all the circuit and that little bit more. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I don't think I did my best then, so I can't do any more than than what I did. Ну, в принципе, он попробовал на последнем повороте, последнем круге меня обогнать. Но я увидел его в зеркалах заднего вида, и поэтому чуть-чуть отпустил тормоз, чтобы войти с большей скоростью и удержать свою позицию. It's a one-two for Joseph Kaufman, but it's a victory the day after his 17th birthday for Robert Schwarzman. Congratulations to the young Russian. Really well done. This is your first victory at this level. You must feel great. Yeah, I'm really happy with the, this result. Finally, I won after all this work we've done with the team. Uh, it was a tough race for me, to be honest, because uh, at the beginning, Lando was really close to me. He was trying to overtake me. Then uh, I made a little gap on Lando and was whole race like going with this similar gap. Only the last laps was a, a bit nervous for me. I was like looking in the mirrors, hoping like I had a little bit of gap. And in the last corner, Lando tried to make a move. But I saw it, so I, I make a little bit longer braking, so I could keep up the speed. And at the end of the day, it was a really good race, thanks to the team. Side by side now, almost wheel bang in between the two of them, Max Tafoni and Robert Schwarzman together. It's a valiant effort by Max Deforni having pushed and pushed and pushed and Robert Schwarzman then with that lock-up that was almost enough for him to go through, but not quite. Another title contender, Belgian Max Deforni, also learned that the task to get ahead of the Russian is unmanageable. Victory for Schwarzman and some points for his professional career. For next season, we wanted to make the Euro Cup stronger. So we go from seven meetings to ten meetings, and all the meetings will be held in the most prestigious tracks, all the F1 tracks in Europe. And we also have, you know, the top of it, the uh, Monaco race, which is the same weekend as the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, which the drivers like. So for next year, let's say a better, stronger Euro Cup. In 2070, Robert will continue in the Formula Renault Euro Cup. As the best Russian, Schwarzman has received support from the ex-Formula One driver Mika Sala as his manager.